Why is fire important? I'll tell you. All right, this is a recently burned area here, and you might think everything is dead. Not so fast, my friend. There's actually a lot of native plants that require fire for germination, and here's a list. So we're gonna start off in a longleaf forest that has been burned every three years, and in fact was burned just last winter. So there's a lot of sunlight making its way down here with that open pine canopy. Let's go to the ground layer here. Oh, there's a lot. Looks like we got some shiny Oxalis, blueberries, Galeucephalus, Pinium, Okay, so in these recently burned areas as well, you'll start seeing little baby pine trees. <laughs> There's a little longleaf pine. This is a grass stage longleaf pine. All right, the main point I want to make here is that there's a lot of diversity on the ground, but mostly you have that open canopy of pines. It allows a lot of light to come through. All right, now let's go to a different longleaf forest. So I'm in a forest that has not been burned in probably decades. And there are some longleaf pine in here. Those are adults. But you'll notice what's lacking here. Where's all the babies or even juvenile longleaf pine? That's because longleaf pine seeds need bare ground for germination. Not really much going on. We have a whole bunch of pine litter, but that's about it. But you'll see the canopy here is mostly hardwoods. And so you're gonna get a lot more shade when you have these like oaks and hardwood canopy covers. 